Welcome to another edition of Coffee with the Goose, where we remember we talk about things that are interesting, fascinating, and irritating. Boy, have I got a show for you today. I am the Goose. Glad you joined me again. Now, we start, of course, with a sip of coffee, and this is uh, everything special about this show. What is special about this cup of coffee? Well, first of all, the coffee itself. As you know, my coffee is very strong, like my opinion. Got some creamer in there to make it sweet, just like me. Okay, we'll start with that. Special coffee cup. The Splendid Splinter. Who is the Splendid Splinter? If you're a baseball fan, you know who that is, or was. That's Ted Williams, one of the greatest, maybe the greatest hitter of all time for the Boston Red Sox back in the day. Where are we now? We're in the um, the Splendid Splinter, what is it, Sweetheart uh, Bed and Breakfast in upstate Vermont. Yes, Ted Williams and his sweetheart, his new wife, Dolores Weddock, uh, lived here for a while, along with their uh, child, uh, children, including Claudia, their daughter, who we met. And yes, it's a bed and breakfast, and it's a beautiful uh, experience in a beautiful setting. Uh, the uh, the uh, nature, and it's comfortable, and uh, they're very... Uh, uh, you know, it's almost like Filipino hospitality, right? We're really enjoying it. Anyhow, let me give you a tour of the Splendid Splinter's Sweetheart Bed and Breakfast, okay? Uh, it was almost by mistake, first of all. Um, my wife, Raquel, and uh, our uh, niece, Jeline, lined all this up without telling me, okay? Little did they know, I'm a baseball fanatic, at least baseball history. And believe me, this is a treasure trove of baseball history. Remember, Ted Williams lived here. Okay, let's start with some of these pictures. Uh, yes, he was a U.S. Marine pilot. We'll look uh, over your left shoulder there. Uh, there's the great uh, Splendid Splinter. Here's Ted walking in uh, Fenway Park where the Red Sox play. And yes, he was an avid fisherman as well. There's one of his catches. And let's walk out over here and get a look at some of the memorabilia, if, if, you, uh, if we will. Uh, we've got lots of pictures, tons of pictures here, and books as well, uh, written about Ted. And he was, uh, he was quite a character, uh, very honest. I'll give you a little more details about his career, and you'll know what I mean when I say he was maybe the greatest hitter of all time. As we move this way, you'll see, happy birthday. Oh, that's Raquel, my wife. It's her birthday today. So, happy birthday, sweetheart. Happy birthday. What a lovely lady. Okay, let's head this way, shall we? Uh, Ted Williams, of course, on the cover of Sports Illustrated many times. He was the uh, player of the decade, I believe, in the 1950s. And we head over this way. A great uh, portrayal of Ted hitting. Let's head into the uh, kitchen, shall we? We'll get some more memorabilia. You know, there's, there's two words I can use to describe this, this uh, bed and breakfast or home of Ted Williams. It's, uh, it's a museum. And it's, it's, a, uh, it's almost like a shrine, you know? It's, all of this is unique and original stuff. It's not, not, none of this is copy, it's all the real deal. So let's move on down, show some more pictures of Ted. All right? Now, as we look at some of these pictures, I'm gonna tell you, Ted Williams, um, he was a hero, not just a, a, a baseball hero, but in the middle of his career, he went and fought in World War II. Well, he wasn't, uh, he didn't see any action, but he ended up being a, uh, a, uh, a trainer of pilots. And he served, I believe, three years. And then, a few years later, again, in the middle of his career, he took two years off and fought in Korea. So, when you look at Ted Williams' statistics, they're amazing. But they would be much infinitely better if he didn't take five years out of his, the, the heart of his career to serve our country. And his stats would have exceeded Babe Ruth's. So that's why we call him the Splendid Splinter and the greatest hitter of all time. He uh, hit, he's the last guy to hit 400. And he's the only player ever to uh, win the Triple Crown twice. So Ted Williams was the real deal. Let's move on over here. Got some great stuff to show you. Uh, this is a picture of his wife at the time, Dolores Weddock. Forgive me if I'm pronouncing it incorrectly. She was a famous uh, movie star and uh, model. And we'll show you a couple of uh, examples of her 
uh, in her prime, if you will. There's another picture of Dolores. Got more pictures of her upstairs, we'll show you. Let's head upstairs, shall we? And again, it's a shrine to the great Ted Williams. By the way, Ted was also a very charitable man. Great example here, a uh, check for the Jimmy Fund. Uh, back in, uh, when was that? Uh, I think it was the 1950s. Uh, oh, it was 85, sorry, but a uh, very charitable man nonetheless. Baseball, baseball, baseball. You got uh, fake balls here. You got real baseball bats here. Oh, before we, when we come down, I'll show you another very special baseball bat. And I think that's his wife's favorite yeah. picture. This is Dolores' uh, favorite picture, his wife, of Ted Williams in his prime. Now this, when I mentioned he hit 400, here is the ceremonial silver slugger bat, I believe is what they called it, for him winning the batting title. That's the real thing. What a wonderful picture, huh? That's uh, in the 1940s. Heading back uh, up here, and again, more baseball bats all around us, up and down the stairway. All right? And there's more to come as we uh, tour the Splendid Splinter Sweetheart Bed and Breakfast in upstate New York. Again, the one-time home of the great Ted Williams. And uh, we're enjoying this uh, to celebrate my wife Raquel's birthday. And we had a great meeting with uh, Ted's daughter, Claudia. She did not want to be uh, interviewed on camera. I had a chance to uh, chat with her for a couple minutes. And Raquel and her hit it off. They chatted for like a half hour. And she really opened up to Raquel. They, you know, It was like they were BFFs right away. Thank you, Claudia, for... Um, uh, all the uh, the uh, welcome uh, and the uh, very comfy, uh, cozy setting here that you provided us. All right, more Ted Williams, and then we'll show you uh, Dolores. This is uh, more Ted Williams memorabilia, pictures of him with the Boston Red Sox. Did lots of advertising as well. Even back then, the uh, the players made a couple of bucks with advertising. Now we see Cla uh, Dolores. This was a movie she starred in, in I believe it was Switzerland. Uh, no, I can't speak, uh, actually I think that was uh, Italian. I think that's what it looks like. Great actress, great model, Dolores Weta. Okay, and when we turn around, now we'll see some of her uh, uh, pictures as a model. And you'll see she was a stunning beauty. And again, keep in mind, this is like 50 years ago. Okay, isn't that marvelous? Okay, turn around. Here's Ted again. Here's Dolores, uh, the Buick Skylark in Dolores Weather. More of Dolores, Ted Williams' wife. Isn't that beautiful? Now we get in here. Oh, look at this. Oh, I forgot to tell you. When Ted and Dolores first met, it was on an airplane coming back from overseas, I believe. Dolores was Miss Vermont, so she was an actress a model and a uh, pageant winner, Miss Vermont. <laughs> so she was uh, an amazing woman. And this is where Raquel and I are uh, staying in our honeymoon suite, if you will. Now, when I first saw this picture of Dolores, I thought, wow, this is pretty risque, right? This is 1963. <laughs> this is 57 years ago. Amazing, huh? This is one of Dolores' favorite pictures. More of her. More. And here we go again. More of Dolores' work as a model. Isn't that beautiful? So you can see why Ted Williams fell in love with her instantly. And um, another thing that was unique about Dolores you know, Ted was uh, spoke in very rough language. He was he wore his heart on his sleeve. Uh, Dolores met him word for word. She's a very strong woman. She let him have it right back. So, uh, an amazing woman. And again, their daughter Claudia uh, is the uh, the person who uh, is you know provides and you know the upkeep and the hospitality for the splendid splinter sweetheart bed and breakfast here in upstate Vermont. Let's head back downstairs and I want to show you something, a couple more very uh, in, uh, uh, incredible uh, testimonials to Ted Williams. This is a bat which uh, notes his winning the Triple Crown 
uh, twice and the MVP twice and hitting 400. And yes, that is his real uh, signature. He signed the bat. And one more I got to show you here. Come on downstairs. Hey, Bobby. Bobby, my nephew, who is a uh, U.S. Navy, good man. Trust me. He married our uh, our niece. He's an Alabama boy. Love you, Bobby. Look what Bobby found. Now, on the surface, it looks like, what is this nonsense? Look at it again. This is Ted Williams who actually signed this. Turn it on its side. Look at that. Ted Williams. Can you see that? He signed this bat. Hey, this ain't fake. This is real. And there are several of them here in the house. Isn't that incredible? Thanks, Bobby. No All right. What a joy. What an experience. Totally un un uh, unexpected. So uh, what a lucky man, a baseball uh, history nut who's living, staying in the house of Ted Williams and a beautiful wife, Raquel, who's celebrating her birthday. Very, very blessed. Thank you so much for watching this edition of Coffee with a Goose. Let me know what you think. I'd love to hear your opinion. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And uh, Merry Christmas. Talk to you guys later. All right. Bye now.